Testing, testing, laptop, one, two, three, testing, testing. Oh, by the way, I don't um, know if I mentioned this, but uh, yeah, I'm using my um, a new laptop to try to record. Uh, hopefully to get longer, well, not longer, but um, my cell phone doesn't record, it can only record on my new cell phone. My old one could record up to 50 minutes, <laughs> which is crazy because it was an older phone. It was an iPhone 4. And now my new phone, it can only record like 30 minutes of a video. But then again, my new phone has is like 4K and I don't know. Anyways, we're going to do a few warm up um, commentaries. And um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> it's funny, I actually posted this on Facebook and uh, I'm actually going to get my phone because I. <laughs> uh, there's, well, no, I don't need to, but basically it was like, on Facebook, I was talking to a friend about this, it was just like, it was just like, you know, like, oh, hey, Ted, how's it going? Oh, yeah, hey, Frank, how you doing? Just working on Dual Silver Roses over here. Oh, yeah? Yeah, how's that going, Ted? Oh, yeah, pretty good. Um, Hey, Frank. Yeah, Ted. <clears throat> hey, man, uh, we're cool, right? Yeah, you bet, Ted. What's going on? You need help with something? Yeah, man, I was just going to um screw over a random type in the game. Oh, really, Frank? That sounds like a dangerous idea. I don't know, Ted. I think we should. I mean, just for just because we don't like the boss, man. Uh, I don't know, man. I'm trying to feed my family? Oh, come on, Frank. Don't be that way. Well, what type did you have in mind, Ted? Well, here's what I was thinking, man. Just, just, you know, how about we do reptiles? Why reptiles, Frank? Well, a snake bit me as a kid, so I have an unnatural hatred for reptiles, man. Brilliant. Let's do it. And to this day, in the real world card game, they never gave reptiles any support whatsoever that was meaningful. Hello, guys. Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Duelist. Of the Roses Custom Duel Part 2 versus Dick Master K. Uh, in case you didn't watch the last episode, which I don't know why you're watching this one if you didn't watch. Well, anyway, in the last episode, we started a custom duel. Uh, custom duels are where you can basically duel versus yourself. Sounds boring, but this duel has actually been pretty exciting, mainly due to some of the stall tactics. And um, basically, the map in general has made this duel far more interesting. Um, because you see these squares, we've had to go all the way around, and we were we had chased the AI all the way to about here, and at that point, the AI cornered with a pretty strong monster to chase us all the way back. So that that has made this duel quite longer and quite interesting, honestly. But at this point, I think we got it. So, or her. Uh, so, <laughs> also at the end of the last episode, I was pretty happy because we drew both this, which we learned this is a misprint and works on dinos. So we're going to play this. Uh, yep, on this. And this should go to 3,000. You see, now we're getting into the territory I was talking about earlier. I was just like, oh, in the last episode, I was like, oh, yes. This deck is pathetic. You should at least be able to reach a power level of 2,500 with my research. We're going to end our turn. And yes, she has a pumpkin on the field. Dangerous, I know. Uh, based on some of the other tutorial duels, I'm sure you all have learned not to um, take the existence of a pumpkin lightly. But... Um, we do have this, which will destroy all cards located in C terrain. So that's what I'm banking on right there. It's flame ghosts effects. Uh, yeah, we're gonna send the most powerful thing through. Now we also have this, which what does it do? Oh yeah, boost attack. We have all reptiles on the field. That's pretty good. I don't think I have any reptiles on the field right now. Dino? No, I do not. But that's good to have because we really hadn't drawn a spell or trap for quite a while so 
Anyways, we are going to keep moving Pump King in and end our turn. And we're going to let her Pump King pump up our Pump King. Count how many times I've said Pump King in this episode. Just kidding. Um, also, since her Pump King is pumping ours up, I may wait eh, a couple more turns just to get a little extra oomph. Um, I mean, because just... Oh, nice. And we got the Paralyzing Potion. Yeah, and I mainly may do that just so we don't get chased down all the way back. You know what I mean? So, Paralyzing Potion. I think I'll play that behind. Yeah. Okay. So, we're going to end. There we go. Okay. Yep, and she's just going to stay in defense, so at this point, I'm going to accelerate the growth of Pump King by having hers and mine both pump up each other. We are going to pump you up. Man, that commercial is so cool. Uh, summon, do we have another? Okay, I can already say, if we get another magic card, I would be shocked. Um, I know we fused for this last episode, but I may run over Lord of the Lamb. Just so that I don't risk, and that's another thing, I don't think I ever pointed out, but um, as you guys have seen, quite a few cards in this deck fuse, or in all your decks will fuse with each other, and that's great and all, but we don't want to miss out on this effect, you see what I mean? So I don't know for sure if um, Flame Ghost fuses with Lord of the lamp check at the time 650 uh, or not but I don't really want to risk it so I'm probably just gonna run over Lord of the lamp with my deck leader and then summon um yeah playing ghost is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna do that next turn yep for now she should pop up mine I should pop up hers we're gonna get this going and okay, gonna play. Oops, run it out. Wait, should I see if this fuses with anything? Not sure. So we got what? Lord of the Light. Would that? Could I get Legion out of this? Is what I'm wondering. Don't know. Let's just try Lord of the Lamp with a reptile. Nope. Okay. Yeah, reptiles don't fuse with much. Um, like I said on the last episode, I did notice that reptiles will fuse with, uh, yeah, this reptile with a rock to make Megzaler, but other than that, I don't know of any reptilian fusions. I'm sure there's another, oh yeah, we, we also learned of another one from the AI. We learned of, uh, da -da 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 Yes, we learned of, yeah, Yashi Noki and Drooling Lizard to make Snake Yashi, which, again, makes a lot of sense, so, Snake Yashi. Yep, pom, 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 put it up. Anyways, how are you guys doing? Um, still good. I'm recording this just a little after I recorded the, oh, what's this? Reduces opponent summoning power to zero when destroyed by... Ah, this is a very good card. Now, <laughs> sorry, I just completely lost my train of thought there, but... Yeah, as I said in a couple episodes before, there are cards which can alter your summoning level. Of both you and your opponents, and this is probably one of the best of them. Because it'll reduce their summoning power all the way to zero... Meaning next turn, or even better, if they destroy it right away, right, and have not summoned anything, they'll basically not be able to summon that turn. That's the best case scenario. And worst case scenario, they, like, let's say they have seven stars in the turn, right? They summon a seven star monster and kill your monster, so basically it doesn't have an effect. They use all their star, all their summoning power to summon you know, Dark Magician, for example, or whatever, and then you reduce their summoning power from zero to zero. Does that make sense? That makes sense. So, 
Yeah, there. Yeah, but in most situations, this card effect, card's effect, will be pretty good. So. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Might want to get a couple copies of this in your deck. Hmm. Um. By the way, I don't think I mentioned it, but I'm eating a slice of pizza. So uh, yeah. Yep, yeah, gotta have something to eat, man. This has been a long duel, man, let me tell you. And sometimes to keep it going, you gotta feed the beast. Alright, guys. So here's what I'm thinking. Turn 60, we all move in. I'm, I'm not 60. Turn 58, we all move in. That's what I'm thinking. What do you guys think? Good idea? Now, this is a pretty strong reptile. And as you see, you can use both Kaishin and Ray's Body. Eh, that would give it 2,800. Eh, that's, that's okay, yeah. That's pr that should get you post past most. And if you use this, yeah, okay. So that's 600. If you use this and both the power-ups on it, you would get... Uh, how much would you get? 600, 24... You would get 3,400, but, again, if you're playing with this deck or any deck, I would be very cautious about sinking all your eggs into one basket, because as we've seen, there's even starter cards out here that, like, with the beans hand, that'll just, like, oh, you destroyed their card, but their card destroys you, like, man eater bug, it's just, you know what I mean, so, it's like, even if, you know, you could, you know, power something up to a ridiculous amount of power, well, yeah, what if you run into, like, yeah, what if you run into a paralyzing potion? Well, then you wasted, like, all three of your power-ups on one monster. So, yeah, just, I would just say just be very cautious when, um, you know, moving in for attacks or, well, you know, I wouldn't say be scared, but I would just be aware that there are cards out there like that. You know what I mean? That can just, uh, grind your gear ruin your day, you know, ants had a picnic, so, <laughs> yeah, alright, so what's my pumpkin at now, uh, that's pretty good, um, yeah, let's start moving in, moving on in, for the kids, and I'm kind of curious what she'll do, will she move here, or just stay, probably just stay where she's at, that's what I'm guessing. We'll see. Yeah, yeah, she stayed. Okay. Just wondering, just wondering. And so we could move here to down, but we would have 3,800 and hers has 4,200. So, guys, you know what it's time for. Target on site and neutralized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and with that flame ghost, you've done a good job, my friend. Can't fuse you with anything right now, but we're gonna move two squares and 3,800. That's pretty good. 3,700 with movement. That's pretty good. You see, and just like I was talking about with those cards, like Man Eater Bug. Yeah, like okay, Man Eater Bug can take this out, but it's not gonna take both of them out. So I guess that's. I guess my my point is, yeah, you can overjuice your monsters. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> Overjuice. It's like I'm talking about pumpkin like it's steroids or something. But yeah, <laughs> steroids. No, but you can, you know, have, you know, some pretty powerful monsters. I would just suggest you have more than one. You know what I mean? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. I mean, it's as simple as that sometimes, right? What are you going to do? Fusion? Fusion? Uh-oh. She made the crippled old man go tanks. That poor guy. Um, looked like he was a pain. So, dragon statue. So, a warrior and a machine. Huh. I'm not sure what fusion this is. Oh, right, right, okay. I think I made this fusion in one of the other custom duels I did with just very sparse commentary. But, yeah, Cyber Soldier. Who makes it? Hmm. I'm getting here by a piece, man. Future and breath. Breath of decay. <sighs> Another Digimon reference. I love it. 
system error 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 Attaboy, Pumpkin. Kind of funny how I've used Pumpkin in basically every episode. <laughs> but, uh, yep, pretty good card. I would highly recommend it, I must say. If your deck can make Pumpkin, make Pumpkin. It's that simple, folks. Fusion! Fusion! Wow, she's fusing quite a lot. Yeah, so as you see, there's like quite a lot to learn about, you know, about your cards and stuff. So, wait, what? Wait, these... What? It said these two fuse. Oh, no, that's my graveyard. Okay. I was say, I swear they didn't work. Okay, so she made her own uh, Braccio Radius right here. So, okay. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Huh, now that's weird. As we entered this square, Pumpkin got powered down for some reason. That's strange. And this is the tune field, right? Hmm. But, uh, yes. Um... I don't know if you guys saw last episode, but Toon Alligator, it had a special thing on it where it said strong in Toon Terrain. So basically, unless your card says that it's strong in Toon Terrain, it's going to be decreased by 500 attack and defense, which sucks, I know, but hey, it's just the way it is. Now what I'm probably going to do is this, and I didn't think about this on the way over here, but I'm probably going to run over Flame Ghost, and then I'm going to run over Psychosaurus, and the reason is, is because I think she'll, well, let's just see what she does for now, and I'll decide whether or not I need to run over my cards later. Yeah. I'm thinking she's going to run here, which is kind of a problem, but we'll see. Yep. Mm -hmm. One card left, huh? Well, one card left to draw. As you see on her side, it says one uh, by the deck there, and that means she's only got one card left to draw in her deck. Uh, again, I want to see what she's going to do, so let's just end. Is she going to stay on that square? Yes, she is. Okay. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. You see, I thought she might move to the left, and so what I would have had to do, or what I probably would have done, is move this right here, run that over, uh, move Brachio right here, run that over, and then summon, like, hmm, I probably would have summoned Grappler, because uh, this terrain, Crush, is also very new to us. Um, but if you know how the Crush Tower virus works in the real game, then you are a step ahead, and you know how this terrain works. Um, any monster with uh, greater than 1499 attack points will be de instantly destroyed on this field. So, however, there is a way to avoid that, as I'm about to show you. So I'm going to attack our leader here, and you may be saying, you're just going to kill yourself, right? Well, no. Because I'm attacking her leader directly, Pumpkin never actually enters the square, so, yeah, we good. You win! Wow. How long was this part? Golly, man, that duel was like almost an hour and 30 minutes total for one custom duel? That's crazy. It's almost like a real-life anime duel, man. Ooh, we got Ancient Jar, that's good. But I don't want another one, so I'm not going to even try for the three in a row. Okay, okay, I'll take it. And we want one more, and I don't want the sword arm. And I don't want the ancient jar, so... Okay, we got ancient... Wow, we got some good cards overall. And we got three in a row, on top. But, as you saw, we didn't get a special card. 
And that's because even if you get three in a row, like somewhere other than the middle, you don't get a special card. Well, yeah, you don't get a special card unless the arrows are there. So, yeah, that sucks. But, uh, anyways, we got some good stuff. We got Mystic Lamp. Yeah. Key Maze. Ancient Jar. Pretty good stuff. So, just for the sake of this tutorial section, we're going to add all three of those. And I'm probably going to take out some of the, believe it or not, the reptiles. Um, uh, do we need two grappler? I don't think so. Do we need this? I don't think so. So we'll add ancient jar, key maze. Yeah. Do we need this? A totem check? Kind of basic. And what's this? Oh, right. Special power up. Randomly transforms to a monster with elf in his name and strengthened with insect imitation. Huh. That's interesting. Insect imitation. Hmm. And I think we'll add this card. Or maybe I should add this. Mm, 38. Mm. Now we can just fuse for that, yeah. Maybe I should add that egg card. Yeah, why not? Let's take a... Well, we know this fuses now. But let's take a... Let's take out, 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 out. Yeah, this deck only comes with five magic cards. No traps. So, you have been warned. Um, only one, two flowers as well. Two plants. Uh... I think we take out another reptile. Yeah, we got way too many in here. So let's take. I don't know why I'm overthinking this either because it doesn't really matter. I mean, this isn't going to be the permanent safe file we go with, so. Doesn't really matter. Let's play this. Okay. And I guess we'll do one more custom duel. Yeah, I know that one was like an hour and a half, but. I guess we'll do one more custom duel, and that way I can take a couple days break. And in the uh, next, um, and in fact, because like because <laughs> that duel kind of wore me out, we're going to change the life points to I'm thinking three thousand. That should help to shorten the uh, experience here. Hey, you know what? Let's do 2500. There we go. And so you can change that too. Um, and let's hit ready. And yeah, as you see in some of these defaults, there are quite a lot of maps. And with this, this is the final positive. Well, not final. But this is yet another positive about Custom Duel. For example, you could play on this, all crush terrain, and just kind of figure out, you know, how your deck can deal with that. All tune terrain, all darkness, water, you know, you know, stuff like that. But, and of course, some of these are mixed. I would suggest going on a field that's at least a little bit mixed. That way you can learn sort of, you know, your deck's strengths and weaknesses. Like this is a pretty good field to practice on. I mean, you got the tune right there to the right, you got the forest to the left, the mountains and the um, northwest, and then in the uh, northeast, you've got meadow. So, pretty good mix. Um, this one's also a pretty good mix, but it'll take you a while because of the labyrinth squares. Um, again, another good mix. Um, you can actually be very defensive on this map because it's pretty unlikely the AI will cross over to the darkness side, well, aka your side. Uh, so, this is pretty good for practicing 14. Uh, but then again, you've also got, you know, mountain, forest, meadows, so that's good. Um, yeah, just kind of look in here. Uh, where do we want to, this one's also pretty good. Where do we want to go? Well, I don't think we want to do one of these labyrinth fields <laughs> again. Uh, this one looks kind of weird. I don't know, only two squares, okay. 
Why would you ever want to do that? Well, no, there is a technical reason, but we'll go over that in another episode. I'm thinking we play on... Eh, let's just play on this field. Nice open kind of field. Yeah. Da -da -da. Alright. Time for another bite of pizza. Mm -hmm. Wasteland! Okay. Off to a good start. Let's move that here and then return. Trying to think really quick. Do I need to tell you guys anything else as far as the dual system goes? Or the custom dual system? Uh, I'm going to think about it some more. I'm going to think about it some more and come back to you guys let you know what I think. Um, yeah. I'm not going to think about it too hard, but I'm just going to, yeah, while we play here, I'm just going to kind of. See, did I cover my bases? Hmm. Huh. You know, one thing the AI is not in these custom duels is very aggressive. Because, for example, her first turn, she just played something in defense here, right? Most other AIs would have had their card come at you at least one square, right? I mean, because within the first turn, you can't really reach them that quickly, so... Hmm. Pretty interesting. Um... Kaishin. Not too great of a hand we have here. I mean, I guess I could power up Grappler, but... That seems like kind of a waste, man. Hmm. I may just play very defensively this school. I don't know. Uh, not, not, not feeling this duel too much. This, this feels like maybe another hour-long duel. Twenty four hundred. Wow. Mm -mm. <laughs> Hmm. Wait, wait, wait a second. She already has practical on the field? I don't think that's technically possible unless... Boy. That would mean that first card she played had to be a magic card. Yeah, this one. It would have to be, right? Am I crazy? No, no, it has to be a magic card because... It just has to be. Huh. Well, um, yeah, practical as we know, very dangerous. Um, hmm, could make Snake Yashi, but that's really not going to get me anywhere. Let's just move Grappler in. I'm going to probably attack this card just to, yeah, just to see what in the world that is. If I can, that is. Oh boy, I cannot. She's probably going to attack my grapple. Well, if nothing else, because I said it's 2,500, I can just let her kill me really quick, but this is kind of embarrassing, man. Pretty embarrassing. Yeah, sometimes the AI will just kind of overpower you, so to speak. It's all about luck in the draw, right? And if you draw nothing but grappler and, you know, dragon statues and sorcerers, you're going to have a bit of a tough time. Funnily enough, playing the Wasteland card actually helped her a lot more than it did me. Because <laughs> I didn't have any dinos at the time. Yeah, that was probably a dumb move on my part. But, uh, eh, here's what it is. Pumpkin, oh my, oh my. So what'd you fuse this time? Mmm, magical ghost with Yashino. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty, uh, Dick Master K. 
Let's just play it safe. And let's start retreating this way, to this corner. Away from the wasteland. My, my. This has gotten to be one challenging duel. Another fusion? Oh, my. Wow. She just got some really good cards, dude. What can I say? Well, at least we got practical off of the, the speed zone. So we're doing... We're making a little progress. And we healed our life, so... Well, one thing I did learn, I kind of wasted Drackler of this rule. That's my fault, though. But yeah, it should not have made that move with Drackler. That's all good. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Boy, we are about to be surrounded real quick here. Oh yeah, she fused, right? Oh wow, so even this rock thing... Oh, okay, okay. So keep in mind that a small, that a rock monster and a small reptile, like that gator, will make Megazower. Well, a rock and a larger reptile will make the uh, Brachiosaurus, which is a lot better, so... Machine Attacker... Uh, good card, but it doesn't really help me right now. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I don't think she'll be able to catch up with me quite yet, so I'm going to make... Hmm, I'm going to make Snake Yashi right here, just so I can draw a couple extra cards. And we're going to retreat, and we're going to end the turn. Okay, so that's the only zombie she has, which is good. Honestly, if she played another zombie, it would honestly probably be the end for us. So, just because I can't really do anything about anything on the field, much less, you know, if Funky start pumping something else. Up, you know? So, yeah, not good. I mean, we could still turn it around, but it's just like, wow, man. Oh. And she made Dragon Zombie, but she kicked it out with something. Thank God. Oh, that would have been bad. Dragon Zombie. Okay, well, we can finally make Pumpkin ourselves. So, where should I... Probably should move Snake Yashi here. And then this... Hmm. But I don't want to play it face up because, yeah, again, I would just pump hers up. Hmm. Bit of a problem. We're still, we're, we're still okay, but, you know, things could be a lot better. She could not have, like, seven cards of the field right there. Yeah, that's good. Move that right there. That is good. Yep, defense mode. That's good. Okay, okay. We're starting to see some stuff now. We're starting to see some good signs. Now, something I would like to point out here. Okay, so on her field, there's one, two, three monsters, and that we know of. And then there's one, two, three, four of the cards. Now, this presents a bit of a informational opportunity. Just like in the real world game, you're only allowed five monsters on the field. Which, have I ever mentioned that? Don't think I have, but there you go. And you're only allowed five spells from traps. Well, based on pure reasoning, and knowing the fact that this deck has more monsters than spells from traps, I'm going to guess like two of these are monsters. And therefore she has one, two, three monsters, and two of these, maybe it's this one and this one, you know, or maybe it's this one and this one. But basically two of these have to be spells from traps. So that is good to know. Uh, which ones are they? I think this is one, if she played the, like, first turn, but, yeah. That is very informational, and good to know. So, I, we can make Cybutter Sawbars, but, still not enough to take this down. Ooh, I can make Sword Arm Dragon, though, which would defensively be another. 
the block. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to send Paralyzing Potion over this way. Because I don't think I need to use a potion on this guy. And Pumpkin's going to attack right there. So there we go. Finally got rid of one of them. Ah, about time. Go ahead, Pumpkin, my boy. Uh, also, side note, uh, this is just the way Josh likes to play. But Flooding Mon 14 prefers to watch the battles. Uh, some people will skip them, and eh, who knows, maybe I'll change my mind every now and then. And especially since it's an LP, I may just, like, skip every battle just to save on time. But, but uh, eh, I love the animations, and I love this game, man. All of it. That includes the battles, so. Yeah. I'm sure at the end of the day, some of you guys appreciate watching the battles, too. Alright. In turn. Another shot. I activate Polymer Nation. This allows me to fuse my Avion and my Bersinatrix to form Flaming Wingman. So this is the fusion right here. <laughs> and that is uh, Metal Greymon. Alright, let's see what we got here. Uh, it's, it's ancient Jar, that's good. Hmm. Well, I think what I'll do is once again use my leader as bait. And I'll move here, move here, let him move here. And then I'll move to here. Let's create Metal Greymon. Greymon Digimon! And one turn. And yeah, so she she should move practical in, and then I can just KO or pumpkin. So. Pretty easy strategy. Pumpkin attack. Sorry, I wasn't talking there. I'm just sitting here chewing my pizza. <laughs> uh, Red Baron, by the way. I like Red Baron. Red Baron's good. Gorky, gaze, engage, and breath of decay. I think there was a Digimon that used the attack name Breath of Decay. For the life of me, I can't think of it right now. Was it Mini Devimon? No. Man. I think it's Vault vs. Beohan. What was that Digimon? Eh. Leave a comment if you know. <laughs> I'm just curious, man. So I know there was one. Anyways. Uh, we're into new territory now. Cybersaurus attack. Ancient Jar. Good. Definitely didn't want her to play this face up. And is this the first time we get to see Metal Raymond actually attack? I think so. Gatling gun! <laughs> what was Metal Raymond's attack in the Digimon game? Our Digimon AMA. Was it Nova Blast? No, that was just regular Greymon. Man, what was the metal attack? Hmm, I think he just would like to shoot the things, the the bombs or whatever from. Yeah, the, he would just shoot the rockets. Like that was just it. There was like no official. Attack. Well, no, I'm sure there was official an official attack, maybe. just because there usually is. Uh, anyway, we're going to make Cyber Soldier, and I don't want Paralyzing Potion to be used on this. I actually thought about it in between turns. I was just like, you know, 
promise you use Paralyzing Potion on this pumpkin right here, if at all possible. So we're going to have Paralyzing Potion run away. <laughs> and hopefully he'll come like this, way. she'll come this way with this, and this will attack this. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Not too worried. We got things under control now. We had to run away for quite a while, but... Use... Polymerization! Now I can use my flame wingman with my spark man to form... Elemental Hero! And she did move that way good. Shiny Flare Wingman. That's right, right. So I would assume this card does not have more than 1800. Does she like ran away with it, so. Ah, and that is a Lord of the Land somewhere here. Not too afraid of that. Um, I will, however. Can I attack this card? I can. Okay. Let's see what we can use. Let's use another Metal Grey Mob. And attack. Good. Good, good, good. Yep, the comeback is real, folks. Man, what was that thing's attack? Someone's gonna get me, I know. Just be like, oh my god, good! I can't believe you didn't remember Mount Greymont's death! How dare you? You're not a real fan. This guy's a phony. You know who lives here? A big fat phony. Take that, Barney, your dinosaur. Take that. Take my mental gambling gun. Yeah, because I know it wasn't like metal. Because, uh, where it grew on had an attack called like Metal Wolf Claw. I don't think. Greymon, Metal Greymon's attack was like Metal Nova Blast. It wasn't anything like that. I just cannot think of it right now. Yep. Yeah. In this situation, all words escape. That's good. Leave your pup king there. Leave it there. That's right, defense mode. That's right. Check that card. Don't forget about that. Alright, so now I will have... Let's have Cyber Soldier attack, actually. Ah, Magic Card, huh? And we just ran over Wasteland. Good, because you kind of want to win that if you're playing along or, you know, whatever. And technically, if you're playing along or not playing along, don't be scared to pin a out because yeah, we still haven't started the actual challenge yet. Um, What else did I want to talk about with the ranking challenge? I, oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think I mentioned this either, but. I'm trying to think about it here. I don't think so. But also in the challenge, the ranking challenge, again, we just want to make it kind of interesting. We don't want to make it too easy. Uh, I thought, as far as the codes go, I should probably only use like two. Um, just because some of the cards you can put in codes for in this game are really. And by really, I mean really, 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 really ridiculous. Um, as far as their just power output in general. Um, so that's what I was thinking. Uh, again, let me know what you guys think because this is like a, you know, this is a team thing. This is an, a let's play, not an I play, not an iPad. You know, so <laughs> you know, yeah, just uh, yeah. Chat with me, you know, let, let me know what you think, and we will come to some sort of uh, agreement. Um, I don't want to attack this, so squeak by and attack that. Uh, defense mode, there we go. That's what I was forgetting. Should I play Mega Zowler? Sure. I can move, actually. Alright. Let's play. Let's play here. And we'll play Megazala right here. Wait, this gets a boost here. Oh, it's a warrior. Okay. Yep, we'll just play this right here. 2000, that's pretty good defense. 
and we'll end my turn. But, uh, yeah, uh, I guess my point about the codes was that, yeah, I, you could put in and get, you know, a bunch of good cards, honestly. And there probably will be an episode where I do that, just to, nice, just to show off some of the better cards you can get. But as far as me actually doing it, I don't think I want to because, you know, like I said, I just don't want to make it too easy. So, but the fact that we're doing a ranking up challenge in and of itself is pretty difficult because uh, it will take quite a while to rank up some of the monsters. So, I don't know, maybe five codes would be okay. Five, that, that's a nice, well, I was going to say round number, but it's, you know, it's standard unit of money, so it's a pretty good number. And she put that in the test mode, so that's good. That's pretty good. Uh, okay, that's good right there. What's this guy, 1800? Okay. Okay, buddy. Okay. Ooh, now with this fusion work... Dunno, but I'm gonna try it. It does. Cool. Haha! <laughs> Take this! How about this? And power up, Yabby. Also, when I changed the uh, life point setting on this game, I thought it would change it for both of us, but uh, basically all I did was make it a little more challenging. <laughs> because, uh, yeah, it turns out maybe I should have changed it on the other side too, because I started with. 2,500, and the opponent started with 4,000, which, don't get me wrong, that's kind of good too, because that makes the challenge look that much more impressive. Yeah, maybe that could be a rule as well, since you can change the LP on custom goals. Maybe I should put it to where, like, okay, I can do custom goals, but my life points have to be, like, at 2,000, I like at half the opponent's, and theirs has to be at, like, 5,000 or something. It can make it something crazy like that. That actually sounds, um, you know, yeah, that, 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 that does sound challenging. Um, I can attack this card. Huh. Should I? Sure. Oh! Copycatter. Copycatter, copycatter. That's cool. We can see this attack twice, and actually, this is good because we get to see for the first time what happens when two monsters of the same power attack each other. So let's just watch this and see what happens. It's a great mod. Getting fire. I really can't think of its name. Hmm. Might just be Nova Blast, man. I honestly don't know. I know he can shoot out his metal arm thing and tackle that person. <laughs> man, that is just... That's so weird how when two... I mean, I like this game and all, but, uh... Yeah, when two monsters with the same power... Like, it shows one of them dying, and then it just, like... The game, like, pauses for a good... Feels like five seconds, and then it's just like... It goes over there and it's like, oh, 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 by the way, this guy died too. It's just like, um, okay, but how? What happened? Shouldn't they, like, I don't know. I feel like simultaneous battle, they should die at the same time or something. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Also, I never pointed it out, but each of these fields has the little, like, eye summoning animations. Or, or not animations. But, yeah, you see that thing on the ground, the rain? And it has kind of the uh, the detail with the eye in it. I, I really like that. It's uh... <laughs> good job, Brachiodon. But yeah, that's a, it's a nice touch. That's, it's good polish, man. Good polish. It's hard to believe this game's PlayStation 2, man. I mean, this is this game is unbelievable quality for PlayStation 2, man. It really is. So. Anyways. Power increase, yummy. Yeah, having a pumpkin on the field definitely helps to extend the episode length as well. 
Uh, not, I'm not complaining or anything, it's just very, I guess, noticeable. Yeah. Yeah, because she got fucking early on this duel. And she had it basically on the entire time of last duel, too, so. Yeah, you can definitely tell when, uh, things are happening. Now she fused what? She fused this with Keymace. What? I didn't even know those two could be Keymace. So basically, I don't know what this card is, but okay. Um, let's see what we draw. Hopefully, a monster. Ooh, that is good, actually. Wow, I can just barely, and I mean barely, kill this thing, I think. Let's see, if I put it raised body heats on Brachio, yep, 32. Wow, I'll have just enough time to kill this monstrosity. Okay, good, good. Wow, this has been a lot better than I expected. Alright, and of course we don't want our pump king to go in defense because that would just ruin the whole thing, so let's end our turn now. Wow, well good job, Brachio Radius. I really didn't think I would... I thought I would once again have to figure out an alternate way to kill pump king. Oh my god, a double fusion? Are we going to get into triple? No, double plus a power up, though. That's definitely, yeah, top right. Definitely going to watch out for that right there, yeah. I don't know what that is, but that seems way too dangerous, man. Top right of her summoning. So let's check the map. Oh, okay, so she has Brachio Radius 2 right here, and it has a power up, but, uh... It doesn't have two power-ups, though, so that's key. Key, key, key. Alright, man, attack. Please take it out. Take it out, son. And that is a good kill. That is a very good kill. Oh, man, I need to do a little stretch break. Oh, stretch. Oh, I'm zipped for too long. Oh, man, that feels better. Whew, my back was just kind of... Yeah. He's using stall. Might make you flinch. Also, I don't know. Did you guys hear that? Like high pitch? Like I don't know. That happens sometimes too. Very minor complaint. Very minor. Um, we can attack this and this. Well, we know this is Brachioratus, and I know that my pumpkin would not kill it. The issue. So perhaps what we should do is this. So I'm thinking we move Puppeteer here, fuse it with your baby. Okay. And we move here. Nice. Megazeller. Okay. Megazal. Okay. Alright, now we've got a plan. Oh. Tackle attack. Spike cannon. Except he doesn't shoot him off like a cannon. It's just spike ball. Just spike ball. <laughs> okay, so we lost 250 there. Now, next turn, Megazeller should come here and attack, well then basically I can counter attack with Brachio right here. That'd be a lot of damage, so I'm okay with that. Move Potion here. Move Pumpkin here. And we're good. In the turn. Yeah, it's going pretty well, honestly. Even though I screwed up the life point setup. Going pretty darn well. Mm -hmm. Ran over our card. Fusion high. And she is out of cards, guys, in her deck. Should make this a lot easier, honestly. And... Here we go. Now we can see Megazal's attack. I don't know what time we're at, but I feel like after this, I probably should end the recording for today. 
Ooh, yeah, I've done a little wicked, honestly. <laughs> Dude, what was that? that? What was that just like porn drill? I mean, all you did was ram me once, sword arm. And you were just like, uh, uh, oh, okay, now I'm feeling it. Now see, this is the Brachio Radius, right? Yeah, because she had a hear like her forward. Yeah, I'm paying attention, I am. You almost had me. Alright, so what we'll do, nice. What we'll do is we'll move pumpkin right here. Okay. And we'll move the potion here. Ooh. And we'll move this. And we'll put the ghost right here. Yeah. This. And we get a lot of damage in. Yeah, because that should spell bind the Brachio Radius for three turns, right? Yeah, that should work. So. And we're gonna skip that battle there. <laughs> Ooh, hundred damage. Oh. And now we are winning. Ooh, I didn't think about that. What if this can move two squares? Ah, yeah, come on, what are the odds of that? Actually pretty good, considering this deck. And that's your last card. Draw your last pathetic card so I can get this. And as you see there, even though she could have moved twice with Brachio Radius, and this thing has a power up, she chose not to. So, that's probably the last thing on the custom AI. Like, look, even though this thing has 3,200 points, she still played very defensively, and I don't know if that's a good idea for the custom dual AI. It seems as though the custom dual AI was almost intentionally, um, you know, intentionally just um, not as aggressive as the AI of the rest of the scheme. But um, again, like I said, I'm not really sure why, but that is the final thing I wanted to point out about the custom duel was like, you know, it just is the way it is, and I'm not sure why the AI is that way on custom, but just keep it in mind when you're trying to learn your deck. And as I said, now starting from the beginning, and if you're still having trouble in losing, which I know many people do playing this game, um, but these, these tutorial sessions are what I would recommend, and I would highly recommend them. Um... Oh, paralyzing. Good play. Good play, girl. But, uh, that sucks. That this is exactly what I was talking about on the last episode. You know, you put all your eggs in one basket and then BAM! Paralyzing Potion. But that's what I would recommend if you are still struggling with the game. Um, you know, number one, don't give up. Just, just keep trying. See what happens. Uh, number two, Taya is a pretty good place to start as far as, you know, uh, ease of victory. Or, you know, just kind of learning. And then Taya, I would say, is good. Uh, custom. Those are the two I would recommend the most. Um, and in fact, even if you lose a couple times on custom, that's fine. Because you've still learned, like, the fusions. And that would be the final thing I suggest is, you know, just the fusions, the fusions, the fusions. Fuse until you can't lose. You know what I'm saying? Because that is one of the best, uh, you know, higher level things you can do in this game is just, uh, oh, I'm trying to get three in a row here. Hang on. Uh, where are you, Yashi? See, I can't really... Hang on, I'm going to have to come to the closer to the TV. I can't really see. So it's green. I see it here, but where is it? Oh, is it below... Is it by Dragon of the Airzots? No, that is Dragon of the Airzots. I think it's... Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, no, missed it. Okay. But, um... Yeah. Uh... Yeah, that's, that's all I would recommend. And with that, I think we can call an end to this batch, this first batch of episodes. And, um, yeah.
Uh, if there's any questions, you know, just feel free to ask. And yeah, I would definitely recommend. Oh yeah, so you can't change it for the opponent. You can only change yours, dude. That is that is broken. You can just be like, you know what? I'm gonna play with that many. Oh no, see that does change the opponents. Oh, so, okay, so if you go higher than four thousand, it'll change to where you're both. Okay, see, I knew it. I was like, huh? I thought when I changed mine, it would change them both. So you can, okay, the rule. I never did this. See, even I'm learning more about this game. But if you do custom and you put the life points above 4,000, the game will match it. But if you put it below, you know, and just want some kind of challenge. Like, let's say I put the challenge for all the customs to be 1,400 life points. Then, their life points stay at 4,000. That is interesting. Did not know that. Did not know that. Oh, but anyway, guys, in the next episode, I'm probably going to just... Uh, wait for you guys to tally the votes. As I said, the polls will be open for two weeks, so that means I'll take my, be able to take a nice little short break from this game. Uh, and then after that, basically going to make sure I start with the right deck, the flood deck, because I, I definitely did not. All these tutorial duels, what's funny about them is I think they turned out great because I got to use quite a few different decks. But the funny thing is, I intended to do them with the deck we're going to use in the LP, the water-based deck. Uh, I don't know, it just ended up going a little differently. But in the end, I think it didn't really matter what deck, but more the content itself. So, anyway, uh, those are just a few kind of post-video thoughts as far as Bloodmon 4 to you guys. Um, any other things I need to go over? Just trying to think real quick. Oh, right. As you see here, select deck. Um, you can have up to three different decks in this game, which is pretty fun, actually. Um, I probably will have three different decks in this game. Yeah, just to mix it up, you know, because I don't like playing. That's one thing I did learn about myself playing this game as a kid. I didn't like playing just the same leader all the time, you know what I mean? Eventually, there are ways to get other deck leaders and other, you know, types of cards, and it's just like, well, why not try them out? Like, why don't I build an insect deck? I mean, maybe Weevil's just stupid because he's a cheater, and I can do it better, and that's what I did as a kid. I that's one of the first decks I built as a, was an insect, and I was just like, man, this deck is good. Like, <laughs> why did this guy not include some of the better insect cards? Is he stupid? But, uh, yeah, anyways, um, I probably will do that. And to switch between them, you just press, like, start there. Um, trying to think what else. All right. There's also another feature with this game called Reincarnation. Uh, I can't do it yet, but when we, I can, I'll explain it to you guys. And basically, it's another way to get additional cards in this game. And I actually like reincarnation quite a bit. So, uh, yeah. And to switch between decks, you would press like start here. See, so this would be your B deck, your C deck, your A deck. So, um, also deck size. I never really went over this, but a deck has to have 40 cards. It has to. You can't have like. As we're talking about the deck cost in the, uh, uh, you know, the storyline, they're like, oh, your deck cost has to be lower. Well, you can't just be like, okay, I'm going to throw in, you know, 30 really powerful cards and just have a 30 card deck. No, you have to have 40 in your deck, so just keep that in mind. Uh, oh, I guess 41. 40 deck cards and one deck leader, so 41. So. Uh, anything else? else, Josh? Uh, if you click L2 and R2, you can kind of sort your cards. And I find the most helpful sort here to be, number one, the rank, which as you see, all these cards we have are NCO, which means no current rank. So, um, cards with NCO, you can't, you cannot make them your deck leader. 
Um, but there's a way to get these cards from NCO to, for example, I have one star or two. Um, so I'll explain that as time goes on. Uh, the other sort I find to be very helpful is this, the, uh, yeah, debt cost sort. And what this will do is put the lower ones to the, uh, top and the higher ones to the bottom. Because sometimes you'll need to just kind of free up some cards. Some really powerful cards like let's go to the deck cost of this one and yeah, sometimes you'll need to take out some of these really powerful ones like mega Zaller and whatnot and just kind of put in a few you know a few scum cards to make it through the uh deck cost restriction like steel score you'll need a couple extra copies to just kind of get through that way um i think that's it uh oh also apparently you can press triangle for little 3D kind of viewing sections of the monsters, which uh, I don't really mess around with this too much, but I like the design of this room. Again, it has, you know, it has the torches. Man, it kind of looks like Darts is final arena, doesn't it? It's like, you got all the torches and there are all the souls back there. Ooh. But yeah, the hovering fire kind of rotating, that's cool. Um, and of course you have the eye down there, but this time it's silver. Silver eye. Silver eyes, white dragon. But uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that'll be pretty much it. Um, I know the exit on this video kind of took a while, but I wanted to make sure I covered as much as I could think of. Um, yeah. Uh, the last thing about custom, yeah, that's right. I knew there was something else. There are ways to duel other opponents other than Deck Master K. So, in your memory card slot 2, if you have a save file for Yu-Gi-Oh, I think it's called Forbidden Memories, you can duel Deckmaster S, I think it is, and she has a Goddess of Whim deck leader, and she has some, actually has some pretty powerful cards you can win, considering you can take her on first duel of the game. Um, so, for that reason, I kind of want to limit the custom... I'm going to put a restriction on it, you know, just to stop me from, like, playing her and getting good cards like, oh, I don't know, like, uh, uh, Mirror Force, stuff like that, because I think she does have those in her deck, so, um, also, also, if you have another memory card with Jules of the Roses data in it, in the second memory card slot, you can duel versus... You know, your friend, or, well, I guess technically you could go against yourself, you know, just for the practice. Or you could, uh, trade, which I haven't really shown trade, but I might as well right now, because, you yeah, know, why not? Yeah, why not? Why not show the trade screen? We got time. We got plenty of time. No save data. Oh, that's right. I gotta put in a different memory card here. Hang on, guys. Alright, trade. I actually like the trade screen music. Um, I'm not actually going to trade cards, but... Yeah, listen to that. Yeah, buddy. And if you had this game, like, by your, by yourself as a kid, like I did, it's probably the first time you're hearing this music, so... Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. To send a card, for example, I'm on the left side. To send a card to the right side, I would just press X and see. And you see there where it says EX1, that means I'll send one of Yashinoki. Uh, but since I have two Sword Arm of Dragon, I'll send those two. And I'll send. Um, uh, Hitoki check's not very good. Um, also, it seems like you can't look at the details of these cards while you're on the screen, which is unfortunate. Yeah, understandable. They had to put limitations somewhere, right? So I'll also send these guys. Uh, and actually, wait a second. Let's back that up. Let's back this up. What I'm probably going to end up doing is actually taking some of the better cards out of my deck and sending them over to that file. Because basically, the, the reptile file that we've been working on is going to be restarted. And... Going, I'm going to save over it with the uh, next 
five. So with that being said, I might as well take all of the good, you know, spells and traps and whatnot and put them onto this other game file. <laughs> You know, just so I don't feel like, oh man, I wasted my time, you know. But, uh, yeah. Oh, I only got one controller, so sorry, I had to kind of, kind of move the, uh, controller there. Uh, saving, I probably should get another controller. This one was only, like, 15 bucks? No, it was like, 12 15 man. But, yeah, that's just about all I can think of, guys. And this will be the official end of the episode, so I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. And we will hit La Stape. Wow, this laptop works pretty good. Yeah, this laptop does work pretty good. Ah, glad to see it all worked out. Let's see. Oh, man. Ah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun recording session. Ooh, a little po post credits video now. <laughs> I actually have the laptop sitting on this. <laughs> so it's a Yu-Gi-Oh binder. I just did that so it would be, you know, the right angle. So my TV is like, I don't know, my TV is kind of, you know, it's like, eh, it's like, yeah. But yeah. <laughs> this binder, there's just, of course, what else would there be, right? Yeah. This stuff, man, just, it's just a hobby, man. I, no need to take it all seriously. But yeah. There's some, some cards there. Yeah. Some A to Z stuff. A to Z variety. Whew. Yeah, post credits thoughts. Uh, I mean, uh, whew. don't get me wrong, man. LP, let, let's play Is Fun. But you have to remember, it's it's also quite a lot of work, man. Just the, uh, whew, I think what gets me the most sometimes is, um, it does take, well, uh, how should I phrase this? Uh, hmm. Communication is probably the most important part of it, of uh, running a YouTube channel or Let's Play. And that's, uh, hmm, uh, not necessarily a bad, something I'm bad at, um, but it's like, uh, there's a difference between, like, the way I talk to my friends and stuff, I'm not gonna talk to my YouTube audience that way, you see what I mean? It's like, simple stuff like that, it's like, huh. I mean, I know I can be, oh, I'm unprofessional, you know, I know I can do that and, you know, drink cherry coke and stuff, but, hashtag not sponsored, but, um, but, uh, I don't know, I don't know, probably worrying about it too much, you know, some of this, you just, just, just wing it, man, just, if you feel like starting a channel, just go for it, get a memory card, you know, get a, Get a PlayStation 2, man, and just go for it, man. Yep, get, get you a PlayStation 2 like I have right here. Just go for it. Go for it. Um, yeah, I'm going to give this thing a break because I know it needs one. This is old school stuff. <laughs> Not like new school. Yeah. Yeah. Surprised I still have this case, by the way. Um, yeah. Pretty fun. Let's see. And this is the save file we're going to use. Yeah, this is the save file we're going to use. I, I really have to keep this organized because it's like, okay, this is for the LP. This is, um, mine. <laughs> that I've had since I was, like, in... What's that, like 8th grade, Salvador? Yeah, it was like 8th grade. In 8th grade, I used to go over to my friend Salvador's house. And um, I didn't have a PlayStation 2, but he just told me, he was like, hey, go buy a memory card. Uh, like 10 bucks. And so I kept my files on here and just would hang out with him. Pretty fun, pretty fun. We would play versus each other, like, oh, man. So that's got all that. That's got like, 
man, this file has a lot of crap stuff on it. I'll show you guys eventually, but and this one has um uh oh of course uh, the Diego Diego started one. He was just like, yeah, I want to play. I was like, okay, well, you can play on this one. So, uh, lot to keep up with around here. A lot to keep up with, man. Post credits. See, that's crazy. Even in post credits, I know I know how to provide ener energy, man. It's like, yep, you've had a long, hard day of LP. You know that you're tired of talking, but you also know that you can do this, man. Uh, uh, I think post credits is a good idea too. Um, I may like, I'll definitely cut out post credits though, because most of the time I talk about like personal stuff and I mean that's okay but some people ain't even wanting to hear that man they're just wanting to hear the excitement and like the oh I did this and did this and make this move and did this and did this oh here's this they don't really care about the personal side man um, well, not only that the personal side can come off as like um, like I don't know some people will take yeah, I, I I try not to worry about like, personal communication, especially through YouTube. But like, yeah, people will take personal communication different ways. You know what I mean? Um, I've learned. I guess I've learned that personal communicate. By what I mean by personal communication, someone's just like, oh, I feel this way. I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. I'm this. I'm like. Okay, like I've learned to listen to that, but at the same time, I've learned like if people are talking about themselves personally, they're just like, yeah, I feel like complete garbage, and I'm this, and I hate my job, or you know, or I hate my my wife, or whatever. I'm just like, like I'll hear you. I'm like, yeah, okay, I hear you, but then next thing I know, you know, you and your wife are like having another child or you know what i mean like it doesn't seem like you're trying to end that relationship you're complaining about it's just like do they really mean what they're saying in personal communication which is why i try not to do as much personal communication i do a little bit i mean it's hard not to just be like you know i hate i hate the sun it's hot like you know like you know what i mean but uh at the same time i've always taken you know really personal communication like really really personal stuff uh number one I, I don't try to uh spread gossip that's for that's the first thing it's just like hey man if you're talking to me about something that's it i'm pretty secretive and i'm really not gonna tell anyone else because it's really none of their business that's the first thing and i've had people you know take my personal communication and just be like you know, cause some drama. When I mean, who hasn't, right? Who hasn't? You know, like, oh, you know, Josh said this about you. He said you're A, B, C, D, not E and F. And he said you're not E. That's 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 just wrong. You know, you better get that guy. You know, so <laughs> so I've had to go that way. I've also had people just kind of like, you know, not take me seriously. I suppose as far as personal communication. So that's an area. I kind of struggle in, so to speak, but me personally, I don't take people's personal communication as seriously as some other people do. Because, like I said, most of the time it's just them blowing off steam. You know, it's just like, oh, I had a bad day, or not even that. It may be like, I had a good day, but I want you to know about it. You know, that's personal communication. So, um,. Like I said, I may not be keep that in YouTube. I may not. Ah, it's really, uh, I, th I feel like that should be a separate section. You know what I mean? I feel like I should like cut the video where I was about 30 minutes ago and should be like, this is now a vlog or whatever. Right? Like, I don't, I don't know. I just feel like some people will like that and then some people will be like, yeah, uh, 
the card game stopped about 40 minutes ago, so I stopped watching the video. Stop. You know, so. <laughs> um, that being said, I think post credits recording is okay for me personally, but it's just like not the same as uh, definitely not the same as warm ups. I, I like warm ups. Warm ups are fun, man. Because I start, I start, I usually during warm ups, I start practicing different voices and just like, yeah, 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 can't mess with my Brooklyn Rings. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's, it's just silly stuff because, like, I know we're going to do a joke. We're, we're going to do one. Oh, wait. We're not going to do a Tristan. But after we beat Taya, the cursor automatically goes to him. So I'm going to make the. But, but, why? I'm going to make that voice. <laughs> Turn warm up. And then we finally get to it, and I'm just like, oh, man, I didn't mean to spoil it. And then it's like, yeah. So, yeah, what, what is in this case? I keep playing with this case right here. Tekken what? Tekken 4 is in this case. Anyway. Right. That's weird. I, I don't think I ever... Where did this case come from? I think somebody might have left their game here. <laughs> Oops. Um. Oh, that's what I forgot to mention. I knew there was a reason I was playing with this case. Okay, so uh, also usually leave like notes to myself as far as topics, and one note I failed to read is Dawn of Destiny. Yeah, I actually had an update on Dawn of Destiny, and basically I just recently had the Spoilers, best recording session ever. Uh, you guys will see that. Mm. Actually, you probably won't see it for about four weeks. And I'm sorry about that, but the reason is Dawn of Destiny actually has like a backlog, like a large backlog. <laughs> so I can basically post a video, like four videos a week is what I'm thinking. Uh, because it turns out last year, and it's all grinding, but, um, well, actually it's not all grinding. Some of it's commentary. So, uh, yeah, some of it's commentary. And my battery's running low, so I'm going to come plug you guys in to the charger. Sorry, you got to kind of follow me here. <laughs> this turned out to be a weird video, man. Weird vlog. Oh my god, darkness. Where's Jones? Shut up, Diego. But, uh, yeah, um, yeah, long story short, backlog, Dawn of Destiny, um, what's weird is I could post it all now and just try to work on it all now on holiday, but that's what I was going to say. The other thing with Let's Playing, don't overwork yourself, man, don't, you know, it's, uh, it's a process. Um, getting to where I want to achieve my dream on YouTube, it's a process. It really is. And, like, that's the thing you have to realize about the, the oh, the, you know, the big time LPers or the, you know, all it takes is one big break, honestly. One, one breakthrough. I mean, that's really all it takes because. Most less players, I mean, their content's actually pretty darn good. It's just that you might need that one unique kind of video to just have YouTube kind of put you over the edge. Uh, so, or or sometimes it's just a matter of time. Like, you know, eventually you'll tell your friends and they'll tell each other. And, you know, who knows? Or maybe it's like, you're doing Pokemon and you finally encounter like a shiny and that's that's your breakthrough <laughs> so suddenly you have like a hundred subscribers when you had only two last night and then after that those a hundred subscribers are like hey this guy's not bad you know we're gonna keep watching them so they recommend it and yeah it's just a process that's all it is so um Anything else I want to say on post credits? Hmm. I do like the the laptop right now. Like the the angle, the 
you know, well, it's stable, first of all. Second of all, like, I can see where to look. There's a little light right there in front of the camera, so I can see, like, oh, I need to focus right there. So, that's helpful. Also, it's rear-facing, so basically I'm watching the screen right here as the video is being recorded. So, I can tell, like, oh, it's tilted slightly that way. Like, for example, it's tilted right here. So, all I need to do is do that. See, it's not tilted anymore. Crazy. Crazy. But, I think, yeah, oh, that's the final thing. Um, You guys know about my computer issues in there? I'm not going to drag you to the computer because I think you already know. Like, I think I posted one where it's making the beeping sounds. And yet, that's still not working. Very unfortunate because... There are some episodes of Dawn of Destiny that are, they've been deleted from my phone, like a long time ago. But they're on that computer, but that computer won't boot up. And there's also another episode of Nightmare Troubadour. I've been trying to, trying to rescue it, but what I finally decided to do is just be like, and the reason is, is because I got like a really rare card in it. <laughs> I was like, man, I don't want to give that up. But the funny thing is, is that I never finished uploading the fact that I got that really rare card so all I there is another way and basically it's this I catch up to where I was which it's gonna make me a little sad man that card would be really good early game too but I kind of promised a couple different subscribers that I would move on and have Nightmare Troubadour up by Wednesday, which I think I might miss that deadline a little bit. But it's the holidays. I, I think they understand. As long as I get it out by Sunday, I think they'll be okay. So, um, yeah. So those are the updates. Uh, that's, another, that's, that's something I should probably do on post credits is updates. Final updates. Um, so I haven't said what my job is. But you should know it's outside work. Um, that means four things. Um, number one, we busy. We are really, <laughs> we are really working hard right now. So I may take another hiatus. I'm not saying I'm going to take one right now, but I may just take a hiatus. Basically, after I get Nightmare Troubadour up and running again. And one other LP I'm going to focus on for a little bit. After I get those two about eh, five or more episodes, probably going to take about a two-week hiatus where I'm just like, eh, you know. Uh, and that two-week hiatus will be once it's like August, midweek August. Because then some things change around, you know, where I work. So um, that'll be a good time for a hiatus. Um I'm going to try to stick it out till then on Facebook and YouTube as well. Um, I might not make it, so to speak, as far as, you know, the motivation, I guess, to stay. But I will try. I'm going to, I, I don't know, something feels different this time. I feel like I'll be able to stay this time until, at least, I mean, at least since I've given myself a calendar. Yeah, yeah, it feels like almost like since I'm planning it now here that, like, it seems more doable to be, like, just to be up front and be like, okay, we're going to record five episodes of this, Sniper Troubadour, a bunch of Dawn of Destiny, I'm probably going to push out four a week. Um, car pack openings, just going to do those whenever because, like, I have all kinds of stuff over here. I have, like, some duelist genesis that's sealed and um i have like these right here <laughs> these are all legendary collection kaiba so there's that um that could keep us busy for a while but i mean i was gonna it's one of those things where i've just learned to kind of accept you may see all that and be like, whoa, man, this guy's been buying way too much stuff. It's just one of those things I've learned to accept at this point. I mean, I've been a part of the Yu-Gi-Oh! like community, so to speak, 
for way too long to just be like, oh, well now that I'm making YouTube videos, I'm suddenly going to stop buying Yu-Gi-Oh cards and just drop out. I'm, I'm it. That's it, guys. I'm done. I'm quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. That's it. No, no. Like, I've come to... If there's anything I've learned during my several hiatuses, it's like, okay, I'm not going to feel guilty for, like, buying boxes when I could be buying, like, a car. <laughs> it, it, hey, it's just the way it is. This is my life. And, you know, some people may not understand that, but, you know, just... I've learned a little to like, yes, stay employed and still make enough money for that and still make enough money for, for example, keeping the lights on and keeping the fans going because it is hot. That's the other thing I want to update you guys on. It is hot. It is very hot. And that is like, wow, man, like, whew, that, that's probably the most difficult thing right there. It's because like I already work outside, right? And then it's like, okay, I want to update the people, but I gotta, I don't feel like it, this should be like, you know, it shouldn't be like, oh man, I have to come in LB tonight. They're expecting an episode. No, I, I think if it, I think there's a balance here. Like, if it takes me two or three days extra, that's fine. But if it gets to where it's like, Okay, it's been four days, and I promised there would be this video. Four days, I, I think. I think four days is going to be my new like. Okay, if I ha feel like I'm about to hiatus myself, and you know what I mean, just just feel, just disappear for a while. Then after about four days, I'm just going to post an update video, being like, "Yeah, guys, uh, not feeling too hot, so." Gonna hiatus for a little bit. Um, hopefully the hiatus. Is that a real word? Uh, sorry. Hopefully the hiatuses will not be as long as they have been, like years at a time. But you know, sometimes that's what it takes, and um, that's what it takes. That's what it takes. And I will finish LPing these great games when I'm 85 years old. And I finally spit out the last bit of content. And you all will enjoy it. <laughs> oh, man. That's crazy. I can't imagine someone LPing until they're 85, man. That just sounds like... Like, what? Eh, could that really happen? I, I think that could happen in today's world, honestly, though. Someone just like Skyping their life until they're 85. And I did kind of creeps me out. My phone is going off. Hang on. Hang on. This might be the end of the episode right here. Hang on. Check my phone really quick. Really quick. Sorry, Miss Jackson. I am for real. I posted that on my Facebook last night. The song's been running through my head. Yeah, i meant to make you die to cry. I apologize a million times. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh, I am for real. Ba, 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 da, ba, da, ba, da. Oh, sorry, it's just uh, some of my friends are uh, <laughs> crazy, man. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Oh, <laughs> uh, that was good. I, I needed a laugh right there. Okay, well, um, and this has been one of the longest post credits. Also, I might talk too fast. I never really. Do I talk too fast? Hmm. Kind of, yeah. Um, but I don't want to. There's a healthy blend, you know. Like I, I can understand the excitement when you're talking like this, but at the same time, some people maybe like the content better if I talk more like this, like a little bit slower. Like yo, I summon 
Wise White Dragon. <laughs> Sounds gangster, dude. Like, yeah, we're gonna do Yu Gi Oh! Duelist of the Roses Gangster Style. What? 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 Yeah, awesome and magician of fate. That's right. That's right. Yeah. You lost a thousand life points, bitch. <laughs> that would definitely be unique. I, I will. I will say that that would be unique. <laughs> Not the kind of unique I think this one. I want this channel to go, but uh, it would be it would be different. It would be different. That might be a good episode. A good idea for episode number 14. Just do a little something special. Be like, yo, we gonna talk gangster this episode. Yo, what you got? What you gonna summon? You ain't gonna do nothing. Why don't you just end your turn, cuz? <laughs> uh, that actually sounds a little more like my normal, like, speaking uh, jargon. It's just like, yo, dog, I summon this in attack mode and I'm gonna fuse it with this and play this. Swerve. Swerve. I say swerve doesn't make sense. Does swerve make sense? What did I just say? Swerve. That just didn't make no sense, bro. Some things don't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't hurt to test things, man. That's all I'm doing today. Just testing. There's a bit of glare on my glasses right here. Why? There's a glare right there. Um. Oh, my window's right here. Sorry, that's why. But not only that, there's a. What is that? It's not a moon. It's not a plane, and it's certainly not a space station. What is that? What is that? What is that? Are, are we still playing 20 questions? <laughs> oh man, Dragon Ball Bridge. <laughs> he's he's fighting Goku. He's like, um, can we play a game of all three? So was like, hey, we're about to play a game of 20 questions. Are you about to die? He's like, mm, no. He's like, ah, ah, ah. And he's pointing at him like this with the red part. He's like, no line. He's like, damn. Uh, lots of good memories, man. Lots of good ones. Lots of good memories. Let me check my phone, man. What's going on here?
Auto correct, auto correct. My text just got wrecked. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys, I kind of just uh, got distracted there for a minute. But um, yeah, that's gonna be it for this uh, post credits. By the way, I opened this just now. As well, uh, just a little before this video, I opened a pack of Yu-Gi-Oh! Battle City. I was just like, really? The one pack I opened not on screen, I get that. Get the awesome Blue Eyes White Dragon. Sucks, I know, but oh well. Hey, at least I got an another one. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. Thank you for watching again and enjoying the post commentary slash update um seminar. Basically, I mean seminar is almost a half hour, almost an hour, about forty. Mm, looks like the timing on the vlog is gonna be. 59 minutes, holy smokes. Well, some of that was Yu-Gi-Oh, but mm, not too much. So, well, anyway, we'll see you guys next time on Let's Vlog by Floodmon14. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> mm. Okay, bro. <laughs> Hey, you guys are crazy. You guys are... Mm, this is my first time crazy. Man. I'm not crazy. You're crazy! Shut up, Napa!